Well, it's 5.30, so this thing has been running for four, four hours, four hours and 15 minutes. And I did, uh, did a couple things while the last video, while I was uploading the last video, so I didn't really get to show it, but let's just see if I can do it again. That's, if you don't recognize that groove, that's a recycled pallet. I love recycling and upcycling and all that kind of stuff. This one's still got a nail in it. Oh my lord, it barely even fits in there. That must be a six incher. So a six incher will fit this way. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe I should really split that before I use it. Or maybe I can do it without it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in this side and allow a little bit of air. <clears throat> allow a little bit of air to get around it. Whoa, smells like your paint fumes are still coming off of that. I'm going to pull this one back. This is uh, Mr. John 613 brand. Make sure you always drink Mr. John 613 drinks. That's the only kind you're allowed. The only brand you're allowed. <laughs> anyway, try not to do any branding there. I was talking about uh, I was talking about this in my last video. I said I wonder I wonder if this I wonder if this is hot enough or I wonder if it gets hot enough to melt an aluminum can. I showed the can that I was drinking in my last video. You can see the color. Like there's some hyper white, like look how bright it is down in there. It's pretty bright down in there. So anyway, I put the aluminum can in there, the one that I was drinking, and uh, it didn't take very long at all, and it was melted. Melted the can. So this one here, I'm gonna make sure she can get a little bit of air, or the make sure she can get hot. Let's see if it melts. I've already melted one can. You probably can't see it, but I already melted one can. It's under there. I melted the. Uh, I think it was a 700 milliliter aluminum can. Uh, one of these one of these energy drinks here I better I'm gonna see how many milliliters it is oh 473 milliliters I'm trying not to show any brand name but uh, yeah I melted it. good lord now I'm tripping on the front here I don't know how many times, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've tripped on that, or st stepped on that. That's where my clean out is for my ash, I have a door here for ash clean out port. So, I need to actually build a door on there, but I'm still testing the core just to make sure it's good enough. Now, if you look down inside the pop can, you can see red, which means either there's a hole melted through it or it's about to melt through, one or the other. I think there's already a hole melted in it. It's not, it doesn't seem to be going as fast and furious as the last one. I think I had it tipped in a bit, like, uh, like that. Can't really I don't really want to stick my fingers in there too badly. There we go. Anyway, when I arrange these uh, three chunks of wood properly, it gets a really good hot burn going on. 
I'm sweating. Just just standing here. I'm sweating just standing here. There's a bit of a projection, like uh it projects heat out here. Quite a bit of heat. Which is like a radiation of some sort. It radiates straight out from that hole. There's a lot of heat. And then there's this hot mass too, right? If you look in there, you'll see the pop can is like hyper white. And it's pretty much gone already. I'm going to pull this back. You can still see part of it there, but she's pretty much melted. I'm going to keep this in a certain configuration. The tighter, I don't know. I can't let too much air in, in behind there, otherwise it won't burn as hot as I want it to. So I was going to finish testing for the day, but uh, if, while the last video was uploading, I was like, I wonder if that pop can really will melt. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some, there's some glowing red, there's some, there's some glowing red down in there, hyper white flames craziness going on there she's been going for four hours four plus hours it's starting to get hot like i can still hold my hand on there but just barely i wouldn't dare i wouldn't dare put my hand on that stainless Ooh, she's getting well, she's getting hot this is cold this is cold same as before well it's not cold but you know it's warm so as far as like safety like you could sit on the stove lean on the stove stuff like that. I wouldn't lean on the I wouldn't lean on the heat exchanger. I wouldn't sit on that, lean on it or touch it. Wow, I can't believe I'm sweating just standing here. She's starting to chooch, She's starting to throw out some heat. Look at the color in in there where the pop can is. It's either glowing red or hyper white or both. It's almost like a plasma, it's so bright. Anywho. Well, my core has not uh, c collapsed. I was, just, I was just doing a torture test on it. I wanted to burn it for several hours. I wanted to burn it for at least four hours. And uh, we've done that. The plastic handle on here, you can see it's not melting or anything because it's only warm here. Well, it's getting hot. But, uh, you know, four or five hours is probably enough of a burn anyway, long enough. Here you can actually see a small gap in where the corner of the door would be. I mean, there's going to be a door on there, inspection cover and for cleaning out ashes. So, yeah. After this goes, let's see if we can look at the pop can here. There's not much of a pop can left there. I'll tell you what, she's pretty much melted. So that's about that's the second pop can I've melted. It's not like liquid aluminum or anything, but it's it's melting over top of ashes and stuff. So existing ashes and existing coals. There's, uh, there's still, this thing's still off-gassing. The paint fumes are still, paint fumes are still coming. I don't know what kind of paint that is, but it's some good shit. Let me tell you, she's pretty hot. And, uh, the only place where the paint is actually gone is where I grinded it off with the wire brush. I'm going to check the oven temperature here somehow. What do we get? 325, 300 and change. 300 and change. It was going slow before I put the before I put the pop can in there. It was slowed down. It had slowed down a little. That's why I added the wood to it. And you can't it's not smoking anymore, but I can still smell some fumes coming off of that paint. I might have to either burn it, like throw this into a fire. I didn't plan on having fire on the outside, like I thought it would get hot enough. I might have to, some people wrap them in paper and have a bonfire and just burn the paint off externally. 
So I might have to do that or just grind the whole thing down with a wire brush, which won't be fun. It's still burning, uh, still burning clean. That's the exhaust pipe, and uh, there's not, there's nothing coming out of there at all, as far as smoke goes. And uh, I don't want to get too close because there's some heat. She's throwing some heat off of there. So anyway, for for a torture test for the core. I ran it for four plus hours today. It's probably going to run for four and a half, five hours before I'm done. And uh, the core seems to be holding up fine, but I can't tell just by looking at the outside. i got to wait for it to burn out. And uh, I'm going to see how the single ply riser turned out. It's only a temporary stovepipe, a six inch stovepipe, the same as this. So if I put an insulated riser in and seal everything up and... Uh, It'll probably work. It'll probably work even better. But this is just a test for the core itself for now. And I was hoping to peel some of this paint off the bell heat exchanger here. But let me tell you, that, that's some good paint, whatever the hell it is. And I'm sweating. <clears throat> I'm sweating out here in the shop and it's the shop is uninsulated and the doors wide open and I'm just I'm just sweating. Yeah, I just sweat just by looking at it. Holy crap, look at it. She's hot. Anyway, I'm done with the torture test, so I'll have to let it burn out and in inspect the inside maybe tomorrow. I might see how long the core stays hot for, but it's out here in the workshop and I got things to do, so I might come back to it later and see how hot it is and check the timing and everything else. But yeah. Hundred and thirty six here, hundred and thirty six here. It's like the rock must be one must be pretty much equal equaled out. Yeah. Pretty much equal all the way around. hundred and forty, hundred and thirty, but the closer you get to the bell or the exhaust, the hotter it's gonna get, which is normal. Because uh yeah, the heat from the riser, the hottest part comes up into here. Anyway, that's uh, that's all I got for now. I'm running out of time and memory and all that other good stuff as usual. So that's all I can do for now. I'm just going to let this burn out now. I know I said I was going to let it burn out earlier, but I'm actually going to let it burn out now. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to check the temperature and the time and see how long the mass stays hot for, see how long it holds the heat for. This uh, thermal battery that's been charged up, this mass of mine. But if I do, I'll let you know, and if not, I'll see you next time.